Hi everyone, Prithvi here from TGT and welcome to another quick update video about Mac. You might already know yesterday Apple released iOS 15, iPadOS 15, TVOS 15, WatchOS 8 but no macOS Monterey 12 is available yet. But along with those updates, Apple released a new version of the Safari browser. So Safari 15 is here. To check for the update, go to System Preferences then software update and you should find the update here remember this is not a mac os update but a standalone update for safari if you go to more info you will see the update size it's 121.9 mb for this 13 inch macbook air we will get into the details a bit later as you can see i am running mac os big sur 11.6 here before the update, you need to close the browser and this update actually took just a minute or so to install and does not require system restart. After the update is complete, Safari starts automatically and it shows what's new in Safari. First, let's check for any new backgrounds. No, we don't get anything new here. This update actually provides faster performance, improved security and some more new features. Among the new features, we have tab groups, start page sync, HTTP upgrade, and redesign tabs. By the way, this is the new version and build number. The major visible change is redesign tabs. As you can see, it looks quite a bit different now from the previous version. The background image now covers the whole window. As we open more tabs, it appears side by side over the background image now. So the tabs actually looks much prominent now and it is easier to switch. Apart from that, we have tab groups. Here you can create a new empty tab group or using these three existing tabs. If you click here, you can save this tab group by giving it a new name. Let's save this by giving it a name click save and then close safari once you open safari again and click the show sidebar option you will find your saved group just click and those tabs will reopen again also we have some security updates for safari as well let's go to the apple security update page and here you can see this version contains a number of webkit updates for both macos big sur and macOS Catalina. About faster performance, well, as you keep using the browser for the day-to-day -day activity, you will eventually know that. Do share your experience in the comment section if you feel you can browse any faster after the update. Please don't forget to subscribe to TGT. Please like and share this video as well. I will see you in my next one. Peace.